Hi friends, Sarah here. Welcome back to another video and it is Spooktober in the Lego City and I am super excited to show you how we were able to motorize the Lego Hidden Side Ghost Train Express to add to the city because when we were at our last convention, I fell in love with having a train go around the city. So I knew for our October themed layout of a Spooktober city scene that I needed to have a spooky train to go around the city. And I wasn't sure if we could motorize the uh, hidden side train or not. I did see a few videos using a nine volt battery uh, train set up, but we don't have that. What we have is the Winter Village train and the power functions that uh, motorize that one. So we thought, can we do it? So in this video, we are gonna show you exactly how we motorize this train in the simplest way possible the extra pieces that we needed, and guess what, there are very few. And then just uh, how easy it is to get it going in your own city. So sit tight, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe if you're new here. If you wanna go check out our last update on the spooky October town to get you started, go do that. If not, I will link it below or put it at the end of the video, and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so before we get into how we motorized it, let's take a look at some of the play features of the train um, as it comes out of the box and is built because it is a fun little train and although retired, it is still easily accessible to get and each car has uh, a little play feature that just sort of adds to the fun of this. But of course, since it's hidden side, uh, a monster type glow in the dark feature is always going to pop out of somewhere. So I'm going to Mr. Have Mr. Bins and Bricks here uh, demonstrate uh, some of the play features that you can see here. In the front, you've got the, um, the engine pops open to display a bit of some teeth, glow in the dark teeth. And then also one of the really cool features is you swing, press a little lever and these wings come out so that you do have sort of this monster type possessed train engine. And then if you keep moving along, you've got JB here and you can actually fit, open this up and fit a mini figure inside. And then, oh, what have you got? So you can pop a mini figure inside as, as if uh, she's studying. There we go. And then you have a mini figure inside. This just swings open really easily. If I went the right way and then can shut it. And then the last car here, uh, the laser tractor beam just swivels back and forth. So that's a fun little feature there. But now what we need to do is motorize this. And one important detail to check out with this is that when we motorize it, we do need to remove the play feature of the wings coming out, unfortunately, because this is the place where we are going to put all of the um, the power functions to make it a motorized train. But you can get creative and you can add the wings somewhere else. And the other functionality that it does lose with the motorization in this very easy transformation, I'm sure if you wanted to uh, reconfigure the train a bit more on your own, you could do some different things. But we want to go with the most simplest, least part intensive transformation possible. And you do lose the functionality of having someone drive the train. However, since this is hidden side, uh, we are going to be featuring a possessed train in our city. So um, basically the train is driving itself. There's a ghost in there, it's possessed. We're gonna go with that theme. So now we're gonna show you the extra pieces that we use to power this up. And then we'll show you how we fit the power functions inside this compartment right here. And this is it. This is all we use to power up our Lego train. We've got the power functions for the train. We've got the remote and we've got seven small bricks here. We've got a one by four, two one by ones, two one by one plates and two one by two plates. And you can use a variety of colors in black or gray. And there's a pretty much 
everything you need to get this Lego ghost train moving around your city. So let's get started. And here we are, just a simple disassembly of the uh, top of the engine of the train here. So start at the top, work your way down. The more organized you are as you disassemble this, the easier and more convenient it will be to find the pieces when you're going to uh, put it all back together. So as we take the top off here, just remember that these Technic bits are all still connected to the wings. So uh, take your time and get those ball joints off the wings there. And this Technic piece itself at the top of the train, we're not going to need any of that, so we're just going to take that out and set that aside. So take back the back of the uh, conductor's cab. Next thing we'll be able to take off are the sides. And you see this comes apart pretty easily. So next thing we can do is grab the wings. And now we pretty much have uh, free reign to take apart the rest of this cab and we're going to take it right down to the bare bones of the bed. And again, just trying to stay organized here, keeping pieces together as much as possible. And here's where we add those first two one by 2 plates. and just continue to take these parts down. Won't be needing those two pieces. Gives you easy access to take out this section here. And now my kingdom for a piece flipper. I can get, oh, here, here, let's just uh, fix that back up. Yeah, that goes there. Oh, there it is, thank you. And the train motor just goes in where the uh, previous section was. Feed that through. Nope, not there. Take that out. Oh. I'll figure it out here in a second. There we go. So the relay goes there. Realizing that I can't put the uh, piece where it was, so back that out. And I'm just going to feed the terminal through the other hole further back. So as we mentioned, that's uh, going to take apart uh, where you can put your conductor. So you connect your terminal there, make space for the wires. Now you can put the battery pack in, and that's going to slide back right about there. Hook up your other terminal, and functionally this is ready to uh, be motorized now, and it's all set to go. So now we just got to put it back together. So we start here. There you get your little one by one plate. Now we go and work on the other side. And again, this is where I say it helps to be organized so you know where you put your pieces so you can find it. Ah, oh, there it is. And just take your time when you're fitting things through. It goes together pretty easily. But just uh, mind the wires as you're feeding this through here and making sure 
that you can still put it all down together nice and neat without uh, potentially pinching or trimming the wires on yourself. Yeah, now we can put the sides back on completely. And just taking your time again, managing the wires, putting it together as best you can. Put those plates on and make sure you secure the door. And now the last pieces that we added to this build. We just snug the uh, one by one bricks on either side of the terminal and the one by four brick back there just behind it. And that supports those two by four plates up there. And we're pretty much done. Roof of the cab. the other sloped bricks. And that's it. That's all we had to do to motorize this train. And these are the remaining pieces you'll have left over after you power up the hidden side train. Absolutely, you can do something creative with the glow in the dark wings. We're gonna work on that. But other than that, here are the parts that we will be taking out of the train to put in the power functions. Now let's get started. <laughs> 